Hey there, it's Brooks here from DocumentSnap.com, and today we're going to be talking about how to do batch OCR using the Fujitsu ScanSnap on the Mac. And we're going to be doing this only with tools that come with the ScanSnap. We're not going to do this with any extra tools. And what batch OCR means is we want to make it so that when we scan a document, you know how normally when you scan a document and you want to make it searchable, you scan a document and then you kind of sit there while the OCR is running, so while it's making the document searchable, then we can go and scan the next document. Well, this is a way we can set it up so that we don't have to sit there and wait. The OCRing happens in the background while we scan. And full disclosure, this tip actually comes from a document snap user named Teleguard, if that is his real name or her. He posted it as a comment in another blog post on document snap so I'm just the spokes model here turning it into a video he's the one who came up with the workflow so if you're ready to go let's start setting up our new profile so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the scan snap manager I'm going to right click on it and go up to settings and let's create a new profile so first of all if you don't already you want to make sure that this use quick menu is unchecked and what we're going to do is we're going to go to the profile box and hit add profile. And let's just call this batch scanning. You can call it whatever you want, of course. And we're going to go to the application tab. And in this drop down here, what we want to choose is scan to searchable PDF. So we're going to choose that. And then on the save tab, save it wherever you want. I'm just going to save it to a for this example, I'm going to save it to a folder on my desktop called Scan Inbox. And then you can set however you want. Just for simplicity's sake, I'm going to make it single-sided just to be faster. And then on the File Option tab, this is going to seem a bit counterintuitive, but what we want to do is we want to uncheck this Convert to Searchable PDF. Because we don't want the ScanSnap software to do it in this case. We want what we set up here on the application tab, this scan to searchable PDF program, which is actually a part of Abbey Fine Reader, it's called, we want that to do the work for us. So back here on the file option tab, make sure this convert to searchable PDF is unchecked. And I'm just going to set, this has nothing to do with what we're doing, but I'm just going to make it so that it generates one PDF file per one page, just to show. So we're going to hit apply and close this down. So we're almost ready to start scanning. There's just one more setting we need to do. All right, so I'm here in the finder. And you can see that I'm here in applications. And what we want to do is we want to go into the settings for the OCR program that comes with the ScanSnap. Normally, you don't have to interact with this. But in this case, we're going to make a few changes. And so, as I said, that software is called Abbey Fine Reader. We want to double click on or go into the folder for this Abbey Fine Reader for ScanSnap. So let's go in here. And what we want is this program here, Fine Reader for ScanSnap Preferences. And we're going to double click on that and let that start up. Click on it, and it seems like nothing's happening. Sometimes it can take a while. So go up here to Preferences under Fine Reader for ScanSnap. And here you go. These are the preferences, that, the kind of secret preferences for the Fine Reader for ScanSnap. And what we want to do, the first thing is we want to uncheck this open file after recognition. We don't want it to open these files up once it's OCRing. We want this to happen in the background. So we're going to uncheck that right now. And the next thing that we're going to check is this one here, delete scanned images after recognition. And we want to check that. And that seems kind of weird, but the reason that we're doing this is because normally the way Fine Reader works is it will take a PDF and then it will make a copy of that PDF and save it the copy as searchable and give it a name that says uh, processed by Abby Fine Reader. And we don't want that. All we want is the single PDF at the end that's nice and searchable. So this delete scan images after recognition will do that. So we're going to close this preference pane. And now we're going to go to desktop, scan inbox, and let's scan some images and see what happens. 
Okay, so we're scanning the first page here. So the first page is going through. And now it's doing the second page. See now, if I move this out of the way, that we've got our two images here. And it's created them, but now it's doing the OCR. And I'm going to put a third page into the scan snap and scan that. And you can see that it's able to do this scanning while the background OCR is going on. We don't have to worry about it. So if we get this out of the way, you can see here, even though this OCR is still going on, we can go in and we can check out our documents. And that you can see here, we can select it so they're nice and searchable. So that's how to set up, or at least one way to set up, batch OCR in using the Fujitsu Scan Snap. For more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.